Hi, I'm Brent with Instructor Gadget. Windows 7 includes a tool called Snip, which allows us to take a picture of any portion of the screen. You can use this to take a picture from a video file, or capture a section of a website and then send it to a friend or family member. What I find is one of the most practical uses is capturing a screenshot image of an error message and then sending that to someone who can help you. Let's pretend that you'd like to take a snapshot of this part of the screen so that you can send a message to your sister telling you which sites you'd like to visit in Peru for an upcoming vacation. The first thing you would need to do is you would need to open the snipping tool. To do so, click on the start button in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. You will then need to navigate to where the snipping tool is located. Click on all programs and then use the scroll bar if you need to. To scroll down and find the folder that says accessories. Click one time on Accessories, and then click on the Snipping tool. Once the Snipping tool has loaded, you will see this cross here. To use the Snipping tool, hold down the left click, drag your mouse down and over. Anything that is inside the red rectangle will be the screenshot you capture. Let go of the left click and the computer will automatically save the image. You can utilize the pen tool in order to write on the screenshot. The highlighter works in much the same way. You can use the eraser to erase anything you have edited. If you would like to save the image so that you can use it later, click on the icon of the disk. Then navigate to wherever you'd like to save the image. If you'd like to change the file name, you can do so. Finally, click Save. If you have configured Windows Live Mail, you can easily email the image to another person. Click on the icon of an envelope. This will open the Windows Live Mail program as well as embed the image inside the email. To capture an image from a different portion of the screen, click on New. Click on the drop down arrow next to New to choose whichever type of SNP you'd like to capture. The snipping tool is a great way to share a portion of your screen with someone else. I want to thank you for watching this episode of Instructor Gadget. I encourage you to visit our website, InstructorGadget.com, for more tutorials as well as additional resources.